Every year, the first day of school brings excitement. From Douglas County. Today's his first day of school, and he started kindergarten today. To Sheridan. But this first day is not like every year for moms like Nicole Dew. Yeah, well, you know, for me, it was more the nerves with COVID and everything, but I knew they were taking all the precautionary measures, so it definitely eased it. Alice Terry Elementary <laughs> and Superintendent Pat Sandos had a plan for Sheridan schools to limit classroom sizes and keep kids six feet apart. I understand the anxiety. I think we all have a little bit of anxiety. This is new to all of us. They're making them wear their masks. They're constantly sanitizing. They're making sure everything's safe and clean for them. But it's been a, a little bit of a different opening, but still is exciting. <laughs> In Cherry Creek at Rolling Hills Elementary, Principal Ashley Gerke believes kids needed to come back. It just feels more normal and, it, and we are teachers and educators because we love building relationships with students and so they're so excited to have students back in the building. And the good news for all schools from Douglas County to Cherry Creek to Sheridan. I think about when I went to school, we all got on a bus, we sat next to our friends within a three inch space and you're right next to each other. The state is reporting a decrease in daily COVID cases. I'm encouraged with the numbers being down. Um, I think it's a great time for us to start. So uh, we're gonna take advantage of that and really make the most of it. Did you have a good day? And provide the yeah. first of many days with hopes that kids can learn while keeping the pandemic at bay. Ready? As long as they keep up with all the protocols and s that they have set, well, they'll be all right. Nelson Garcia, 9 News.